Hello viewers, welcome to redexcel.com and I am going to explain how to install Zenporta CMS application on Ubuntu 17.04 First of all, Zenporta is a open source PHP based content management system used for creating gallery focused websites It supports multiple media formats, integrated blocks and custom pages The Zenporta CMS requires your web server to functionally based on LAMP setup on your system and decade some of the PHP modules I have already installed and configured LAMP setup on my system so I have to proceed the installation of Zenporta CMS application on my system Before you have to install the application we should update the system repository using this following command then hit the enter the repository being updated now now we have to create a new database to accessing a Zenporta CMS application and then hit enter and then here we have to give the root user password and then hit enter now we get a database console and then here we have to create a new database the database name is then and then hit enter and then here we have to create a new user and give the privileges to access the then database And then here I have to mention a username. And then here I have to mention a password for this user. Then hit enter. Then we have to flush the privileges. Then hit enter. Now we have to exit from this database console then hit enter now we have to change into the following directory then hit enter and then here we have to list out the files i have already downloaded the zenporta cms application package and then here we can see the package now we have to extract the package using this following command and then hit enter the extraction is completed now now we have to list out the files and then here we can see the zenporto cms application directory and then we have to move this file into the following path and then here you have to mention a destination then hit enter then we have to change into the following directory and then hit enter and then here we have to list out the files and then here we can see the Zenporta CMS application directory then we have to rename this directory then hit enter then we have to change ownership and permission for the Zenporta directory then hit enter then we have to change the permission then we have to change the permission then hit enter then we have to create a new virtualhost configuration to accessing a Zenporta CMS application and then here I have to create a new file then hit enter the file is open now and then here we have to proceed the virtualhost configuration after configuring virtualhost we have to save and exit from this file then we have to enable the site accessing for new creation of virtualhost configuration and then here we have to mention a file name then hit enter then we have to enable the rewrite module then hit enter then we have to disable the default site access then hit enter now we have to restart the apache service 
then hit enter the service is restart now now we have to open a browser the browser is open now and then here we have to give the following url and then here we have to mention a local ip address or a domain name so i have to give my domain name then hit enter the site is open now and then here we can see the entire environment configuration for a web server and then here we can see the php modules and then here we have to give the detail for database and then here we have to give the database user and then here we have to give the password and then here we have to give the database name and then here you can choose the table prefix then i have to click save And then here it will show on a just a warning if you want to secure your website please following this certain condition and then here you can choose your file system character then i have to click apply then we have to click go now the database table is created now and then here we have to click set your admin user and password and then here we can see the license agreement after reading the terms and condition we have to click agree and then here we can configure the admin user here we have to choose the username i have to click admin then i have to choose the password and then here i have to give the full name and i have to choose the email address for admin user then i have to choose the language after making configuration we have to click apply and now we get a login page of zenporto cms application and then here we have to login with the credential of admin user then i have to give the password then we have to click login the site is open now and then here we can see the user configurations if you want to order new user please choose your username then you can apply and then i have to click overview and then here we can see the what is the version we have been installed as input a cms application on the system and then here we can see the entire environment detail about web server and then here we can see the active plugins and then here we can see the active filters and then here we can see the utility functions for a zenporto cms application these are all the installation process about how to install zenporto cms application on ubuntu 17.04 thank you for watching this video please subscribe our channel linux help to more further videos visit www.linuxhelp.com for any queries mail to support at linuxhelp.com